In this video, I am going to show you how to turn a plug-in transfer into a speaker. The first step is to get your flyback transformer. I got this one out of an old CRT TV. Once you have it, the first thing you must do is to figure out the pinout. In my case, pin 1 and 5 are the primary windings, pin 5 connects to 12 volts and pin 1 connects to the collector of the transistor. Now if you have trouble finding the pinout, then I have linked some helpful videos in the description below. On the same circuit board you are going to find this transistor, we need this to drive our transformer. By googling the part number, I found this is an NPN transistor with its pin out as shown in the right hand side. It can withstand high collector to emitter voltages up to 1700 volts and peak collector current up to 15 amps. Its forward voltage drop is 1.6 volt. This means that if we apply 12 volts, we are going to get 10.4 volts at the output. It has a gain of 5 to 18. Normally, there is a rule of thumb to take the minimum value, which is 5 in this case. This means that if we apply 1 milliamp to the base, we are going to have 5 milliamp flowing from the collector to the emitter. I used this enormous heatsink from the same family on the same circuit board, but it failed to do its job. So I soldered some wires to a transistor, sealed it using hot glue, and went on to try the infamous water cooling system. The star of this circuit is the glorious 555 panel I see operating in the A stable multivibrator. This here is the driving circuit. It charges and discharges this 100 nanofarad capacitor to create the high frequency square wave. I found out this transformer operates at anywhere between 10 kHz to 15 kHz. This potentiometer here will help us achieve our goal. The audio signal enters here. This 100 nanofarad capacitor blocks any DC coming from the audio source. The audio enters into the guts of the 5 timer. This simply modulates the output at pin 3 to carry our audio signal. This 2 or 33 ohm resistor limits the current to the base at around 150 milliamps. Now if you don't stock this transistor then you can simply use the BD140 NPN transistor in this constellation. Here is everything breadboarded up and using 5 volts to power the 555 timer and 12 volts to power the flyback transformer. Here is the MP3 player that I am going to use to play the music. Now use something that you don't care about because there might be a high voltage spike coming back from the coils of the transform into the rest of the circuit. This is the connection of the auxiliary cable. From the top to the bottom it goes left, right and ground. Connect ground to ground of the circuit and it either connect the left or the right wire to the 100 nanofarad capacitor at pin 5 of the 555 timer chip. This is the safety tip which is to cut and insulate the neighboring pins of the high voltage pin cause in some circumstances it may arc over to its neighboring pin and give a shock if you touch the circuit board. I used good old hot glue to make all the ceilings. However, candle wax works the best for these kinds of jobs. Just in case if you are curious about the current draw, it is around 0.7 amps at an arc length of 1 cm. The current draw increases with the decrease in arc length. It is a maximum of 1 ampere when, when a short circuit is created. The output voltage is around 10,000 volt at an output current of around 1 milliamp, which can be fatal. So if you have no experience in electronics, then please do not do this. And just so you know, you do not need to use the exact same parts as I did. For the most part, I simply use this 555 timer calculator to calculate the values of all the components that I used. One last note, if you hear a high pitched sound while playing the music, then simply rotate the potentiometer to get a frequency beyond 20 kHz so you won't be able to hear it. There is a rule of thumb, the carrier frequency should be of a frequency higher than the audio you are trying to transmit. If you found this video to be helpful then please like, share and subscribe, comment down below and I will leave you guys with this extra footage of the flyweight music.